Now, Madam President, since the unlawful leaks of NSA programs, opponents of our counterterrorism program have painted a distorted picture of how these programs are conducted and overseen by exploiting the fact that our intelligence community cannot discuss classified activities. Since September the 11th, 2001, FISA <clears throat> has been critically important in keeping us safe here in America. According to the CIA, had these authorities been in place more than a decade ago, they would likely, likely have prevented 9-11. Not only have these tools kept us safe, there has not been a single incident, not one, of intentional abuse of them. The NSA is overseen by the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of our government. They're not running rogue out there. The expiring provisions of FISA are ideally suited for the terrorist threat we face in 2015. If our intelligence community cannot connect the dots of information, we cannot stop this determined enemy from launching attacks. Under Section 215 authority, the NSA can find connections, find connections from known terrorists overseas and connect that to potential terrorists here in the United States. But the NSA cannot query the database, which consists of call data records, like the number calling, the number called, and the duration, without a court order. Under Section 215, the NSA cannot listen to the phone calls of Americans at all. Despite the value of the Section 215 program and the rigorous safeguards that govern it, critics of the program either want to do away with it or make it much more difficult to use. Many of them are proposing a bill, the USA Freedom Act. They say we'll keep us safe while protecting our privacy. It will do neither. <clears throat> the USA Freedom Act would replace Section 215 with an untested, untried, and more cumbersome system. It would not end bulk collection of call data. Instead, it would have untrained, untrained corporate employees with uncertain supervision and protocols do the collecting. So it switches this responsibility from the NSA with total oversight to corporate employees. At best, the new system envisioned by the USA Freedom Act would be more cumbersome and time consuming to use when speed and agility are absolutely crucial. At worst, it will not work at all. Section 215 helps us find the needle in a haystack. But under the USA Freedom Act, there may not be a haystack to look through at all. These companies have no programs, no training, or tools to search the databases they would need to create. And if that wasn't bad enough, we'd have to pay them to do it. The taxpayers would have to pay them to do it. In addition to making us less safe, the USA Freedom Act would make our privacy less secure. The Section 215 program is subject to rigorous controls and strict oversight. Only a limited number of intelligence professionals have access to the data. There are strict limits on when and for what purpose they can access the data. Their access to the data is closely supervised with numerous, numerous levels of review.